Did Jesus die for us? Then? That's a very good question. Yeah. Yes, my Do you believe that in order for God to give you a second chance, a murder needs to take place? I don't even know. This is the last and final revelation. So who wrote this though? Very good question. Yeah, why you have to do that? Beautiful. As a Beautiful. Christian, I don't got to do that. Beautiful. Why do I do that? He was the last and final messenger, my friend. I don't even care about all that. Uh -huh. That's what I'm saying. L listen, Between listen, my friend. Listen to me, my friend. All right? Street, street tower. The game's not over. They're moving on to the fifth question. Let's go! Let's go! We're gonna make this happen, okay? First question coming your way. What are the three questions that the angels ask you in your grave? Fast, fast. Two seconds. What is your religion? No, no, that's the dean. What is, who is your God? Who is your Lord? Well, what's your religion? That is the correct answer. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! What's going on? Listen, 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 listen. I'm chilling, bro, but I don't know if I could be around someone so drippy like this. I mean, take a look at this. Allahumma barik. Mashallah barik. Mashallah barik. I know the vibes. Listen, talk to me, my friend. Okay, listen to me. Do you believe in religion? Yeah, I'm a Christian. You're a Christian? Yeah, I'm a Christian. So do you believe Jesus was God or do you believe he was sent by God? Nah, he's sent by God, bro. He was sent by God. Yeah. I believe the same thing. Yeah, bro. Yeah? Mm -hmm. He was sent by God to teach people how God wants to be worshipped. Definitely, bro. He died for us when in our uh, on the cross for our sins, for me. Okay. So chance. For our second chance. So do you believe that in order for God to give you a second chance, a murder needs to take place? No. No? Nah. So then why did he do that? Mm, because that's that was the only way, bro. The only so if, if by by the definition of God, and by the way, this would be play around, right? We right, we right. push thoughts, okay? Mm -hmm. So by that definition, you said that no, like that's not the only way, right? By the definition of God, there shouldn't be any limits on him. Nah, agree. Right? Shouldn't. His mercy and forgiveness needs to know no bounds. Yeah, it's absolutely. So yeah. So no one needs to die for his mercy or forgiveness so to why show. Did Jesus die for us? Then? That's that's a very good question. Yeah. Friend, okay. Are you familiar with the story of Abraham? Um, I heard of it. A little bit, right? Yeah. Do you mind if I refresh you really quick? So Abraham had a son, Ismail, Ishmael, right? And he had revelation given that God told him that he needs to sacrifice his son. You ever heard of that story? Um, he needs to sacrifice. I'm hearing it now. Okay. So God gave him in a dream and revelation that he saw in revelation in his dream that he was slaughtering his son. Right. And his son was also a messenger of God. He was a prophet of God. Ishmael, right? Ishmael. Uh -huh. He went to his son and he asked him that he told him, look, this was my vision. What do you say? And he said, if God says to be, count me in. Right. Obedience. Mm -hmm. So he takes his son to the mountain mm -hmm. and the mountain, he's about to... Slice his neck, right? He's about to do. He's about to sacrifice his mm. son, right? He's about to die, my friend. Okay, cool. Now, this whole thing was a test of Abraham's faith. It was a test of Ismail, Ishmael's faith. Mm. That are they going to listen to my revelation, to my command? Right. And it got proven true. Do you know how God rewarded them? How? Okay, pause this video right now. I'm currently headed to Norway to meet the entire Slamnet team to build this masjid slash dawa center right now. I flew all the way from New York to Norway to guarantee that this Dawa project is being built successfully. The Muslims in Norway need our help and we gotta help them now. So click the link below and donate generously with the peace of mind knowing that your brother is personally making sure that your donations reach the right place. So don't waste your time. Click the link below and earn your Sadaqah Jariya by giving whatever you can so we can help the Muslims in Norway. He replaced when it came to strike. He closed his eyes because he couldn't even see. He didn't want his son to see. He couldn't see. Mm -hmm. He did not want to see his son doing that. He closed his son's eyes. His son, son said, just, just, I don't want to see it. Wow. Close my eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when he did that and he sliced the neck, God replaced his son with a ram. Wow. Yes, with the, mm -hmm. with the sheep, mm -hmm. with the ram. And this is what the Muslims do. The Muslims mm -hmm. actually sacrifice a ram in the honor of that. Okay. Yes, sir. When, when y'all do that? In the month of Hajj, the oh. Hijjah, which is about to approach right now, oh. by the way, right? So you're so, be killing ships too? <laughs> well, this is why, right? Mm -hmm. What we do is we take that mm -hmm. and we distribute the meat to the poor. Right. We give it to the family and we keep some for ourselves. We split it into thirds. Okay, my friend. Now, Abraham was instructed mm -hmm. to sacrifice his son. And God has mercy. Yeah, definitely. And Abraham, he knew that no father would want to kill their son. Okay? So he replaced his son. So you're telling me mm -hmm. that God killed his son when he didn't even allow his messenger to kill his son? Wow. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I get okay. it now. Okay, now look. If God could change his son into a ram, everything is easy. Right. Don't you think that God could replace him with a lookalike? 
Definitely. Right? He couldn't. Definitely. A doppelganger, you get me? And that's what we believe happened. We believe that the people who murdered Jesus didn't kill him at all. God loved Jesus so much that he replaced him with someone who looked like him. You sure? Yes, sir. As Muslims, we believe that. Yes. Nah, Christian, we believe something else. For yes. me, yeah. That's you, you already this know the story. I know, yeah. right? And this is something new you're learning. Yeah, right? yeah. I know I'm, your story. Now, now I'm learning about the like the mu the Muslim yes, culture sir. and stuff like that. I never yes, really sir. got into yes, that. Sir. So I now, now, see, of course, man, and I appreciate you sharing with me. And the reason I asked you to share that because we believe that God loved Jesus so much that he would never do that. That's number one. Because he didn't let Abraham do that. Why would he do that? No, you see, and that's number one, right? So, number two. Number two. His mercy doesn't need someone to die for a mercy to activate. It's like a coin, right? It's like an activation. Like there's no mercy mode, like in order for this to happen, his mercy, no. His mercy is unlimited. It's absolute, you understand? Yeah. So he doesn't need someone to die for that to happen. His mercy is just there. His forgiveness is there. So no one has to die. So as Muslims, we believe that Jesus does not need to die. No one needs to die for God to be merciful to you. By saying that that has to happen, you've limited God. And God, by definition, cannot be limited. Nah, I understand that, but that's a different way to look at it. Yes, sir. I'm gonna hold you, yes, sir. We go, as a Christian, bro, like it's a whole different way, bro. Well, let me let mm. me ask you this, right? Mm. What was the religion of Jesus? What was he? Was he a Christian? Mm, I don't even know. What was Moses? Um, I'm not sure, bro. I mean, so look, these are names that we've given people, right? Yeah. Some say these names created a divide between us. Let's remove the names. You get what I'm saying? Right. Forget the names. Forget these titles, right? Let's come down. Let's boil it down. You know when they say boil it down? It boils down to the minerals and all the gas leaves, right? All the fluff gets out of here. We don't want the fluff. We want the crooks of what we're supposed to do. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's boil it down. What was the religion of all the messengers, right? Did all the messengers preach the same thing? Same did, thing. Right? I, Every yeah, messenger, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you're a messenger of God, yeah, yeah. you have to love and stuff like that. You have to preach the same message. Yeah, the you same understand? message, right? God's message can't change with time. It has to be the same message each time. Right. Let's understand what that message was. Okay. Simple. Every messenger brought this: that there's only one God. Right. Agree. Only one God, bro. There can't be multiple gods. Nah, I can't. That doesn't make sense. I didn't even need to talk to you about that because that's obvious. Yes. Okay. This Creator is the only one worthy of worship. Right. We cannot worship things, stuff like look. The thing about this, right? This is nice strip. I have some nice stuff. You have some nice thing. Mashallah, barakallah. That's beautiful, right? It's from the creator. He blessed you with the amount to do it. Now, how we earn that money is between you and him. How I earn that money is between me and him. Just to get something nice doesn't mean we earn it the wrong way. We must earn it correctly. There's nothing with dressing nice. That's fine. In Islam, we believe that the gifts of God should be shown on, their, on the servants. Nah. If he's blessed you, it should show. Nah, yeah, definitely. I believe that too. Right, you should yeah. look good. Yeah, yeah. Right? God is beautiful and he loves beauty. Yeah, that's a fact, you get bro. It? That's what Islam teaches, right? Mm -hmm. Islam teaches this. Okay, cool. So, you have this situation, right? There's only one creator. Right. There's a heaven and hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So each prophet taught the people that there's only one God. Mm -hmm. Do not raise partners with this God. Do not say there's multiple. Don't make no statues, right? right. There's a heaven and a hell. Right. There's a day of judgment, right? right? There's angels. There's mm -hmm. things of that nature. There's predestiny. These are the things that everyone preached. The right. oneness of God, right? And to obtain, to obtain that peace and contentment. We all want to have peace and contentment. Definitely. Right? We all want peace and contentment. We want happiness, right? right? We want peace and contentment. To obtain peace and contentment, you must submit your will to the one true creator. Definitely. That is the only way you're going to obtain it, right? Right. Now, that's a very long definition, right? Did you know there's one word that summarizes all of this? And what, and what, what one is that? One word that summarizes this whole thing that I said. And what is that? Islam. For real? Oh. Islam okay, okay. means exactly well, what I just said. Just explain to me. Okay? God. From our understanding, mm -hmm. okay, when a person submits and practices Islam, Islam needs to be applied. You understand? You got to apply those things. A person who applies that is called a mu Islam, meaning a Muslim. Muslim, right? A Muslim is a verb, my friend. Muslim is putting that into practice. You understand? Yeah. We practice. We have to practice it. You understand? Yeah, we're going to mess up. Yeah, we're humans. Definitely. Of course. You know I mean? We're going to fall through. We're going to look at the wrong thing. We're going to talk to the wrong people. You know what I mean? It happens. But this creator is all forgiving. Yeah. If we believe that if you bow down to him, mm -hmm. all we do not need to confess our sins to anyone. Alright, so then why do y'all go wash your hands, wash your foot? If I sure. feel like I just bow down to him and everything's forgiven, why y'all have to do all that? Beautiful. As Beautiful. A I don't gotta do that. Beautiful. Why do do that? Beautiful question, my friend. Whenever you approach your house, do you take your shoes off? Mm, yes. Yes. Yeah. Why? I mean, it's dirty. 
dirt. But still, God won't. God, I look. Listen to me, mm -hmm. brother. Listen to me, brother. Mm -hmm. right? You don't want to bring in the dirt from the outside. Correct? Right. Okay, good. When we approach God, mm -hmm. when we pray to God, right? You use the word pray. Right. Right? That's not the word. That, when you say pray, it means like, God, I need something. God, help me. No. The word in Arabic is called salah. Salah literally means to plug, to connect. You know how like you plug your phone? Yeah, yeah, to charge your phone? You're connecting with God. Now, when you have to go and connect, like for example, when LeBron James has to get ready for the finals, yeah, right? He hasn't been there, right? When Steph Curry gets ready for the finals, right? When you're there, right? You got to be locked in. Shout out to them, right? You got to get locked in. You got to get locked in, right? So you have some rituals to lock in. When you clean yourself, when you wash yourself, you are approaching God and you're going there and you want to make sure that you're clean, my friend, right? You want to shower. You want to make sure that you're not polluted. You understand? So it's a cleanliness process. And in return, God is always looking for reasons to forgive you. We believe that with the drops that fall off of us, our sins are falling off of us as well. You understand? So it's not just a washing process. Our sins forget all fall off of us. You understand? It's a holistic process. It's a pure purification process my friend right mm -hmm. and when you approach God you don't want to be smelly you don't want to like you want to wash but your God, feet God don't even care about that uh -huh. that's what I'm saying no that's, no, no. That's, yes. that's where our religions both you know yes L listen listen my friend listen to me you could talk to God anytime no. you but for the ritual prayer mm -hmm. you need to cleanse yourself you have to clean yourself you understand and in return you're also cleaning your sins as well too your sins fall off as well too my friend I want to give you a gift uh-huh okay all right something that will make you more beautiful mashallah all right okay? thank you. Let me get this whoa where are you going click the link below and join me and islamnet on this historic project building a masjid and dawah center in the country of Norway sounds good right so do it now this is the holy Quran Okay, this is the last and final revelation mm -hmm. given to the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings upon him, and who was a messenger like Jesus, right. who was a messenger like Moses. So who wrote this though? Yeah. Very good question. Yeah. This is the English translation of the Quran. Oh, all right. Okay, it's a translation. There's only one Quran, and that's in the Arabic language. You don't read Arabic. No. Exactly. Right. So I have English to English is better, man. Okay, English is better for you, right? Yeah, but definitely. that's a translation. It's not the Quran. This was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, just like Jesus, Moses, Abraham, all those messengers. He was the last and final messenger, my friend. Right. The angel Gabriel. You know Gabriel? Yeah, yeah. Gabriel. The Gabriel is the messenger angel of revelation. Mm -hmm. The angel Gabriel gave him the revelation, and as he was recited, he recited to the people, and they wrote it down. Right. You understand? Yeah. So no word has ever been altered or changed. All we ask is you approach it with a pure heart. Yeah, with a pure heart. With a pure heart. My friend, thank you, you so much for that. Compare it to the Bible, man. Go for it. <laughs> love, love. It was a good conversation. Love, bro.